We are approximately one year into this project. What we've done to each section is we've surface cleaned them with small um, vacuum cleaner nozzles using a very fine screen on top of the papyrus just so that we don't suck up any loose fibers. Um, and there's a huge difference in the terms of how much dirt we've moved off, removed from the beginning of the section to, as you can see, the end sections, which are really, really soiled. We've been applying regular paper conservation techniques to papyrus. Papyrus and paper are very, very different, and yet we're able to use um, similar adhesives on the papyrus to bring the joints together. We're able to use similar types of tissue that we've toned so that you don't see our um, repairs if in fact we do end up showing this recto verso. Papyrus is a um, grid structure. It's made of two sheets that are put together perpendicular to each other. So when you're looking at it through transmitted light, you can actually see fibers and the grid pattern. It helps us under the microscope make sure we've absolutely got a join matched up. The other thing that we've done is we've taken very, very small samples and sent them off to a lab um, for carbon-14 dating. So we actually have a very narrow window of about 200 years from about 1600 to 1400 BC. So the thing that we have to figure out with our curator and with our designer um, is how do you show a 25-foot-long Book of the Dead?